Good morning, out here this morning, boar hunting. That was our trap that we set last night, but as you see, ain't nobody ate nothing. So, going hunting again today and see what we can find. But before we go, I gotta show you my, my little frame. You see that scope on there? And yeah, I do know how to use it. Country girl, remember that. Hey y'all, so I just wanna come to you real quick. Um, I actually had someone request this video um, because this is kinda not really my thing. I don't really feel like I should be <laughs> talking like this, but I am. I'm gonna do it today because I was actually requested to do it. So um, the one thing I've learned, um, let's talk about what you've learned during this pandemic. So this was a time that people, jobs shut down, um, real estate market you know people haven't been able to um pay their 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 mortgages people haven't been able to really do much at all you know what i mean um some people are and, and some people have done the opposite actually a lot of people have been balling because they've been getting their checks I, I wish i was one of them but um a lot of people have been doing um better but here's the thing that's gonna that unemployment and all those things are gonna come to an end and um people with that being said people we talked about people are going to become way more desperate than they already are you know what i mean so when that happens um let's just just hypothetically so if there was another pandemic because this is nothing new yes this happened in a, in a way that we've never really experienced before but the great depression has happened um us getting shots and and all these new viruses and all that nothing new nothing nothing new if you actually go back and do your research you you always can tell what's about to happen next because of history um which is why learning and and knowledge is power you know um the god i serve in the bible states that our people will perish for a lack of knowledge and and it's right there for you so go back and do your research so none of this is, is really new um but with that said with that being said Let's talk about, so if the pandemic was to happen again, um, how would you be prepared? You know, so people are going crazy over toilet paper right now, <laughs> or was, you know, and right now the thing is gas. So let's just say if it was groceries, let's just say if it was water, you know what I mean? Because of course this is, this will happen. Um, and when I say that, I'm talking about pretty soon, because if you don't know, again, doing your research, the new world order, like the agenda, um, it's coming. So these are the things that you need to be thinking about. And I, and I just want to know. So if if you couldn't, if you went into a grocery store and there were no groceries on the shelf, you know, if all these people with lakefront properties, he actually, um, the guy I was talking to lived in Miami. So imagine you see all this water every day, but it's salt water. How, how are you going to feed your family? What water are you going to be drinking? Now, a little bit about myself, I'm a country girl and um, I am actually from Gainesville, Georgia. So I grew up in the country. Um, I grew up with woods around me and my name, by the way, Zelina means girl of nature. But with that said, um, I love to hunt. It's just something that I like to do. Um, it's something that I know that it's necessary and um, because of things like this so if there was another pandemic and you walked into the grocery store and there was no food how would you feed your family can you go out and fish do you know how to clean that fish do you know how to cook that fish if if it was deer can you go out and hunt a deer do you have the, nece the necessary tools that you need to make that happen and do you know what you're doing um, on top of that, do you even know where to hunt, where to go get these sorts of things? Um, because it's not just like a sport or a hobby. These are necessary things. These are things that actually was done back in the day, um, years and years and years ago, because it was the weight of the world and it will go back to that. Um, because you're getting into a world and a government that controls things. So my question to you is these, this is, what would you do? You know what I mean? And the, if the pandemic has not taught you some of these skills or even, you know, giving you some sort of alert, a red flag in your brain, like, man, I should be thinking about some of this stuff. Like, what would I really do? You know, um, I'm, I'm a single woman, but if I were to have a man in my life and this were to happen, I know 
my family would eat because these are things and skills that I've acquired for myself that I know how to make sure. I don't care if it's a chicken, a squirrel, um, any any sort of thing that, that I can go hunt, my family will eat period we're gonna eat i'm not afraid of those sorts of things but but honestly we've come become so spoiled you know what i mean most women right now are glorifying the fact that you basically do nothing you just look pretty and that's fine you know what i'm saying no no that's fine but like i said um you you you're excited because because your husband got whatever he he might be balling but like i said when money when money is not tangible anymore and and those things change because those will change too as you know they're already working on a new money system so when when you're not in control of those things any longer how are you going to feed your family because it's not going to matter how much bread you have it's not going to matter how long you've been chasing the bag it's not none of that's going to matter <laughs> none of it so um you know these are things that you should be thinking about how are, do you have a garden you know, do you even know how to grow your own food? Do you know what food you can eat in the woods? What God already gave you? Do you know what leaves to eat? Matter of fact, can you identify what foods and what leaves that are actually good for your health? So again, these are things that the knowledge and the information is out there for you, but it seems as if we're Googling or YouTubing the wrong stuff. You know, most people worrying about what they gonna decorate their house, you know, when they get their check, what they about to do, um, what party they about to throw, what Jordans they finna buy, um, who they finna flex on next, you know what I mean? They worried about who cap and who not. I'm not concerned about none of those things at all, cause I don't care. I'm only concerned about what God told me to be concerned about and that is my life skills and making sure that i'm prepared for what's to come you know what i mean and as as in my opinion as everyone should be but who am i you know what i'm saying but who am i so um i want to talk if, if if you're if you're if you've thought about some of these things let me know your opinion you know um again what would you do if you walked into a grocery store and there was nothing for you to eat for miles around how are you going to survive? What would you do? And how would you feed your family? Excuse me. <laughs> how would you feed your family?